and joy and prosperity. Thou canst thou thus for shame, Saturnia. Glance at my credit, Metropolita, knowing I know thy love to Theseus. These are the forgeries of jealousy, and never since middle summer spring met we on hill, in dale, forest, or mead, by paved fountain or by rushy brook. But with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds, piping to us in vain as in revenge, have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs, which, falling in the land, have every pelting river made so proud, they have overboard their continents. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, our dissension. We are their parents and originals. Do you amend it then? It lies in you. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I do but beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not this child from me. His mother was a votress of my order, and in the spiced Indian air by night, full often hath she gossiped by my side and sat with me on Neptune's yellow sand, where we have marked the embarked traders on the flood and laughed to see the sails conceive and grow big-bellied in the wanton wind, while she, the wooed and rich with my young squire, would imitate and sail upon the land to fetch me to my home and return again as from a voyage rich with merchandise. But she, being mortal, of that boy did die, and for her sake do I rear up that boy, and for her sake I will not part with him. How long within this wood until you stay? Perchance till after Theseus' wedding day. If you will patiently dance in our round and see our blue eye rebels, go with us. If not, shun my company. Give me that boy, and I will go with you. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies away! We shall tie down right if I longer stay. Well, go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee. 